For the fourth straight day, North Korea has not been answering regularly held daily inter-Korean phone calls. The South Korean government believes it's a one-sided cutoff from its counterpart across the border. Choi Min-jung tells us why. North Korea has on Monday remained unresponsive to routine calls with South Korea for the fourth day in a row. Accordingly, Seoul believes Pyongyang has unilaterally cut all communication. During the weekend, the North did not respond via the military communication line, and this morning there was no response from the liaison office and the military communication line. For now, we are putting more weight on the possibility of a unilateral blockade by the North. The Unification Ministry on Monday added it will review how to respond while monitoring the situation closely. The inter-Korean liaison communication channel and a military hotline are normally used twice a day, but there has been no response via either since Friday. It is unclear why the North remains unresponsive, but an expert says Pyongyang's move appears to be in protest of the ongoing security cooperation between Seoul and Washington. So it's another way of North Korea issuing stern warning to United States and South Korea that uh, it does not appreciate the augmented security cooperation between the two countries, especially the ongoing and uh, elevated uh, security cooperation and military exercises. The expert did point out, however, that this measure should not be regarded as the North's determination to carry out a substantial measure of retaliation or provocation, as it may only be a warning. The ministry adds this is the first time that calls have stopped for longer than a day since communications were restored in October 2021. Prior to that period, North Korea had cut off cross-border communication for about two months in protest of the Seoul-Washington joint military drills. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.